the food fight sweeping school cafeterias nationwide. It's only been a month since new federal guidelines mandating healthy school lunches went into effect, but many students are already finding them hard to swallow. With cafeteria fare now calorie restricted, some kids are complaining that their lunch doesn't fill them up and turning to YouTube to make their voices heard. Here's ABC's Jim Avila. You need a fruit or vegetable, sweetie pie. It's a noble effort, but an ABC News investigation shows the USDA's new school lunch guidelines are not going down so well with many kids across the country. America's public school students protesting the new federal war on child obesity with guidelines promoting smaller portions, fewer calories, less meat and cheese, and more fruits and vegetables, all aimed to control obesity, which kills more Americans than any cancer. Some of the protests hit the internet in dramatic fashion, like this lunchroom revolt. Give me some seconds, I, I need to get some food today. My friends are at the corner store getting junk so they don't waste away. Students at this Kansas high school creating a viral video protesting the new calorie-cutting menus in their cafeteria. The new rules limit elementary schoolers to 650 calories, 700 calories for middle schoolers, and 850 for high schoolers. It's roughly the same amount of calories, but it's a different mix of how you get to those calories, and we think it's based on the science is, is a more nutritious uh, mix. But the result of all that healthy food, say many parents and kids, is a dramatic increase in plate waste. Sometimes the food is just nasty. In fact, the only known study of food waste under the new guidelines contains a startling statistic. Kids are now throwing away twice as much food as last year. If you just plop the vegetables and plop the fruit there and don't do anything else, waste goes up. Waste goes up about 97 percent. We visited a school in suburban Chicago just this month where middle schoolers analyzed their lunch waste and were shocked to find 46 boxes of unopened pears. They're all unopened, totally unopened. The week before, all 111 vegetable containers served were thrown away. Schools tell us that they're seeing a 50% increase in the amount of lunchroom trash. It's just too healthy almost. I try my hardest, <laughs> but it's, it don't, it does not work. Angie Reynolds at Virginia's Holston High School says kids are bringing their own and only take the fruits and vegetables when she forces them. They complain the food is tasteless. A lot of it is going in the trash. The secret ingredient perhaps missed most by the students and even the lunch ladies is so secret it's hidden way back here in the supply room behind a locked door and underneath one of the boxes. That ingredient, salt. The new school lunch rules place limits on salt, ketchup and sugar, flavors kids crave. The first rule of food is that nobody's going to get any nutrition out of it if you don't eat it. The trash can does nothing for you nutritionally. But the USDA says it's working in some schools. We're seeing uh, ele elementary school children probably more receptive to this than high school students, which is understandable because high school students have gone through uh, perhaps 10 or 12 years of, of schools with a different sort of formula. And that Cornell study finds there are creative ways to cut down on plate waste, that by moving the healthy choices to the front of the buffet and making up names for vegetables like power beans or x-ray vision carrots, plate waste will drop dramatically. That's what makes all the difference in whether it's eaten or thrown out. Oh, they love salad. Moves that could help the modern day lunch lady cut down on plate waste and America's kids cut down on childhood obesity. For Nightline, I'm Jim Avila in Bristol, Virginia.